that's an amazing way to advertise your products. Just look at Michael here. Michael, what you doing? <laughs> <coughs> Sucking the watermelon. Okay, go. Yeah, I think I'm done. Okay, I think I'm done. Do your thing. This is done. There's a lot of noise outside of our guest house, and we want to check it out. What's going on? Hi. <laughs> um, okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, what just happened? There's like, there's like a ton of people here. Most people. Did you, do you know these people? No. Me neither. Who are all these people? Why are they here? I don't know. Let's go to the stage first and see like what. Okay. Like we heard a lot of noise right here in a place where we stay. Yes. And we were sitting in the room, we were preparing and we started hearing some noise. And then all of a sudden, when we come out. Whoosh, this thing happened. No idea, Gigi, I don't speak Chinese. What am I missing? Wang Rui Lei, Sensor. No idea, Gigi. A lot of people are speaking Chinese. Okay, this guy is cooking. Okay. Thank you. Squid King. Yes. So, I heard that in Malacca there's like a street market thing going on but I actually they had no idea that was going on next to our accommodation. Like right, we just got out of the accommodation and just, we saw this. Yes. Amazing. So, there's a lot of people here. We got out in the search for food and, I don't know, going outside. But, yes, now we can show you this thing. Now so, Let's show you the street food no, scene. Sorry, Michael. Let's show you the street food scene and the show the things around here. Now we don't have to move to go to the party. The party came to us. Yes, the party came to us. So let's show you the party. Okay, Michael. Let's go through the stalls here and let's see. Yeah, let's see what is happening because I have never seen something like this. Well, actually, we saw something similar in Johor Baru, it's a night market, but this one is supposed to be different because this happens only on the weekend and go figure, today is Friday, so Friday is the weekend apparently. Yeah. I think here, see? Jonker Walk. I think this is where it starts. So, yep, in our case, this is where it ends. Gigi, <laughs> why do we start from the end again? <laughs> Okay, Junker Walk. Junker Walk. Okay. okay. So yeah, this is where it ends. Let's go. And again. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. What are they doing there? Some pork balls. Pork plates. There are three. But I like the... I like how he... How you made all of this. This looks pretty cool. Like quite... Carrot fish ball? New. Very nice. You're cooking something here. Well, eggs, fish ball, curry, pork balls, cheese, sotong bowl, lobster curry. Nice. Okay, not in the mood for pork bowls today. Okay. This is like a gaming area. Maybe. Yes. And you have basically everything here that you would think about, including cars that transform for some reason. Toys. On this side also a lot of things. Candy on the stick. Candy on the stick. That's like one for a tour. Bring it. Mango. Oh, we should try with mango. Weird candy. What do you feel like eating, Gigi? I want to eat 
I would really like to eat something sweet because I have a thick sweet, sweet tooth and I understood that everyone here in Malaysia has the biggest sweet tooth from all the Southeast Asian countries so confirm me if that's true or not and honestly I would wish so that somebody would explain to me what this guy is saying here because he's been saying it for a long time and to me I understand absolutely nothing Oh, wow. Oh, but crispy, we did whole with the shell with everything. And it's crispy. It's like it says, crispy baby crab. Okay, let's see. Want to try what's one? No, no, no. I'm, I'm okay. I trust you. So this has uh, barbecue flavor, tom yum flavor, which is a bit sour, spicy, and it comes like this big cup is ten ringgit. Yeah. This is cool. It's okay. Let's go look for something else. Thank you. Thank you. Crispy baby grab. Okay. Okay. I don't know what Moachi is, but sounds like something sweet. Squid guy. Squid guy. Should we go this way? Yeah, let's go this way. So far from what I see, this is where the food's at. And over there is something else. So let's go first to the food, then to the something else. Let's go. I think he's probably right. Probably, yes, exactly what he says. I hope I'm not offending anybody, but well. Yes, you are a lot of people there. Hummingbird like, eyelash, I know horn. Yes, ha, Uji. Okay, enough. Let's go. I, I switched to Gigi because she's more particularly for it than I am. It's not about that. It's about the fact that you don't know what you're saying. You might say something bad. All kind of all eggs. eggs. Aged eggs. A lot of people eating over there. Oh my goodness. Nasi lemak. Nasi lemak. Yes, we tried nasi lemak so far. This looks yummy. This looks yummy. All of it. Amazing. And durian, of course. Yes. And the otak, the one that we tried in Singapore. And here is 1.5 ringgit. Over there was 1.5 Singaporean dollar. Okay. I want to try one to see if it's better than the one in Singapore. I want to see. Okay, actually I'm going to get two because why not? One for me and one for you. No, I want something sweet. Okay, but then I pick the only for me one. Or maybe some moisture. I will share it with you, okay? Okay, okay in the meantime...
crowded, but we're out of the crowds and now we can go door this side. Look here. Yeah. Should we try to see more and more stuff? Oh, more fried things. Chicken, fried chicken. Chicken, so long, which looks like squid and sausage. I like it that they have the animals. Yes. Exactly what you're having. So, sotong means squid, I can understand. Might very well mean squid. Yes, let's play the sotong game, did you? Sotong game. Yes, the sotong game. Oh, my goodness. I see what you did there. Okay, so the market looks like this behind me. A lot of people. And a lot of food. I don't know, we didn't even go this way because the street goes all the way till there. I hope you guys can see well. Did you do you want a watermelon? A water one? Yes, you Who get says? a watermelon. Do you want the milk? Would you want the watermelon? Yeah, Okay. We can share one. Okay. Why not? It's the first time I'm seeing something like this. So I'm curious to see how he does it. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. Yes. Smart. Makes sense. Smart people. <laughs> oh, there's other options here. Yes. But I don't know. I would try a watermelon because I never tried a watermelon like this. I love watermelons, but never like this. Until then, I'm gonna show you some more things until Michael makes it ready. I'm gonna okay. be back in less than one minute people already like filming here and everything goes this is like some glowing dark kind of thing bracelets and necklaces and this stuff a lot of uh, satay i think it's gonna taste very good when it's gonna be done this is like mini octopus hi okay that's cool I don't know what you're doing here. Uh, uh, this is cool. Uh, like I'm very curious how this can taste like. It might be super sweet, I don't know. Did you guys try this kind of thing beforehand or not? Like aside from all the street food, you have a lot of uh, clothes, a lot of jewelry, a lot of earrings, a lot of things to put on your body, <laughs> if I can say so. It's pretty interesting. Like, you have like, the, like so therapy, um, a lot of things, I don't know guys. It's the first time I'm seeing something like this, so it's pretty hard to catch everything like in words. It's so, so, so exciting. Okay, let me go back to Michael. Yes, and I got my watermelon. Michael got his watermelon. Don't bring it for a watermelon. It's not bad. Try it. I know. What do you expect, watermelon? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good, of course. It's good. It's good, right? Okay, thank you. It has the chunks and everything. <laughs> yes, chunky watermelon from the chunky watermelon place behind me, somewhere, because there's a lot of lights. Yeah. Okay. You might go go have that. I'm gonna show the people the craziness of the street market, night street market here in uh, Malacca which is actually a very popular city since ancient times. Even nowadays, it's mostly known as being a hub for commerce and for shipping products from one side of the world to the other side of the world. So of course, you would expect to see here a lot of products and a lot of things being made and sold and delivered all across the ocean. So, what else can we see here? Like we have a lot of spices, like flowers and Friends. plants, hands even. Like you have even hey, 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 we buy shoes of all sorts. 
I think these shoes look very interesting. See? They have the little. I don't know. I want to try them. Can I try? Hi. Hello. Okay. Okay. Yes, it's big size. 44. Yeah, 44. Walk in the room, only 50 minutes. 50 minutes? Yeah. Walk on this? Yeah, walk. It's already a little bit hurting. It's hurting? Yeah, it's... I feel the things in my feet. Well, you're getting a massage all over your body. Yeah, I don't know if it is for me. <laughs> Thank I mean you. For... They look nice and they might be good for your foot feet, but I don't know if they are for me. Yeah. I think everyone loves it. They are tethering it? Not tethering it. Tethering it. Okay. Yeah. Tethering it for this kind of shoes. Not bad, but not for me. Do you want pay? No, it's not for me. Thank you. If I buy them, I don't wear them. Thank but you. But I think a lot of people who appreciate like the foot massage, they they can come here and get it from the nice lady. Sunglasses as well. Michael is casually strolling around with, with my watermelon. watermelon. Yes, I never thought I would say this, but I'm just walking with my watermelon and sipping from it. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Normally at home I'm walking with my watermelon, preparing to eat it home, to cut it like normal people and eat it home. But here in Malaysia, especially in Malacca, you serve your watermelon like this, with a hole in it and a straw in it. And some guy puts put a blender and mixes everything inside. Michael, I think we're okay. super helpful. I, I think we're super lucky that... Oh, wow. Crunchy waffles. <gasps> waffles, Michael. Waffles. We are super lucky that what, Gigi? I think we're super lucky that we had some food before. Oh, yeah. And now we don't have to... Like, no, we're not hungry anymore. Every, yeah, we're because not hungry. Because like thirsty, yeah. if you come here when you're hungry, oh, that's a problem. That's Very a big problem. Well, yeah. Okay, continue, Gigi. Continue. You were doing a very good job. Thank you, Michael. Uh, okay, we're gonna carry on with some pearl tea. Oh, we have bubble tea. Wait. Oh, sorry, it's okay. Thank <laughs> you. game because I already have one but okay I mean five ringgit is for one card game that's a bargain anywhere else is around maybe 30 ringgit here only five said Michael with his co with his the watermelon in his right hand a lot of I don't know if I want to get a tattoo in this side of the world because I heard that they put your, your 
I mean, when they write in Chinese, they write something like deliveries on Tuesday or pizza Fridays or taco Tuesday or whatever. And they tell you, oh, it means uh, tiger. It means uh, good luck, good fortune. Lion. So I don't know. I am reserved when it comes to tattoos in a foreign language that I don't know, unless I'm super sure of what I want. Unless they know very good English and they can properly write it something in English for if you they, or Romanian. If they want to, if they want to screw you over, they will screw you over, Gigi, because. You cannot read what they're writing unless you're fluent in the language that they're writing. You but mean. you spell it out like if you're 100 percent. But I get what you're saying. Still, I mean, you that can spell it out as much as you want, but they still will write it in their own language. So, again, I think that's very, very funny. Yes. I think you you have a point in what you're saying. Like I wouldn't want to wake up after like getting a tattoo here that would say. Yes. Imagine getting a tattoo on your ass cheeks that says "Enter, please." Why would you have that? Why would you do that? You know some people actually have that. I know, but not me. Okay, there is some The lady was working pretty hard for it. Low in the dark stuff. Yes, this was also on the other side, so... All these copies. Look, Hello. It looks kind of similar with the kitten that we had at uh, our accommodation in Johor Bahru. Uh huh. I mean, yeah. This is cool, man. Just look at this thing. Mmm. -hmm. Mm. Legos. Yeah. Oh, Michael. Oh. Cool. Let's go. Let's go. Michael. This watermelon is hazardous for your health. Why? Well, if you oh no, no, because if you suck all this watermelon pulp inside, you might get it in your throat. Choke it. Choke, Choke on it. it. Yes, I, two times I was almost choking on it. <laughs> then stop eating watermelon. And ten ringgit for this small watermelon. I mean, at least make it bigger. But I mean, it's okay for getting it at the most busiest, uh, I don't know, markets around here. Not that bad. But still, 12 actually, 12 ringgit. Sorry, my bad. 12 ringgit for a watermelon. This big. It's smaller than my head, Gigi. <laughs> oh, this is a nice pastry Why does it smell like this here? Smell like fish. Like dead fish. Yeah, like dead fish. I wanted to say something else. Oh, they have masks. Cool. Would you like to get one of those masks? Nah. I thought you found the smell of the dead fish. Oh, the source no. of the smell of the dead fish. I don't fish. think that's me. That's, that's me. Who's supposed to do this? I think I know what it is. I, we have it at home also. I mean, we had it at home. It's shrimp paste. It smells like horrible, but it's very good in food. Yes. Shrimp paste. Uh, shrimp that's paste. True. That's yes. True. It smells like you're about to die and like something is rotten and dead for a long 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 time but in food if you use it properly it's actually very good especially the Thai people they love it using it in food yes. Thais, Indonesians, Malaysians everyone okay more fast oh, Oysters. Michael. 
I found some really cute stuff. Oh, one, one of two. One day I'm gonna have to buy a lot of fruit from a lot of shops and try to try them out basically because there are a lot of fruit I never tried before in my life. So that's gonna be interesting. So what are you getting, Gigi? I'm getting um, ice cream mango float, which has ice cream and mango and a magic popping pole. Uh, the magic popping pole is inside. Yeah. 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 Okay, let's see if it's gonna pop in my face. Do you wanna try? How much was it? Seven ringgit. Oh, not bad, better than my watermelon. <laughs> yeah, but you were busy with your watermelon for a few hours. So I know, but still, I come on. I cannot stop that one. That watermelon is gonna haunt me forever. Yes. Okay. First ringgit for a watermelon, Gigi. Good? Oh, mango. Good. Good. Oh, I found the popping bowl. You found ah, the popping bowl. Ah. It's kind of like the thing that you like from the whew, from the boba tea, but they pop. Seriously? Yes. Okay, not bad. So we're getting closer to our street uh, night market kind of walk tour as you want to call it here in Malacca so I'm gonna show you like the last few images and then you guys have to tell me your opinion about it if you have seen something like this before or if you have something like this in your city do let us know down in the comments because I'm super curious for us this is the first time we've experienced something like of this size at night in this side of the world <laughs> Okay. Oh, and guess what? I lost Michael. Yay! I'm back with my watermelon. So, what do you think about this market, Gigi? We are at the other end. I don't know what to say. I think it's quite surprising for me because. Hey! It's quite surprising for me because this is actually one of the first times. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, hi. Oh, God. Okay. Is that good? Okay, here's a pro. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ninja Malaysian. Where yes. So, what were you saying, Gigi? <laughs> That was super cool. Okay, I think we we came close to our night market kind of tour. Yes. Here. So it's super colorful, a lot of people. It's clearly one of touristic one of the most touristic events that exactly. can happen here. Kinda looks like a tourist trap to me a little bit because yeah. the things are a little bit more expensive. I mean we went to the Johor Street market also and well they didn't have that much variety of stuff but over there it was more okay street wise food not as this as um, i would diverse. say as diverse as here yes but other items and prices wise way more diverse i mean from there i bought a t-shirt i bought other things so yeah that goes to show you that in a touristic place you will find more stuff but not every time stuff that you need all sorts of knickknacks and stuff which you will find like in any kind of bazaar area next to I would say public attractions or like touristic attractions but yeah it's an interesting way I like to interact with the people the people were nice the watermelon was small so yeah that being said I think it's time to end this video 
I'm gonna get my waffles. Yes. Sooner I hope, or later, I'm gonna get. I them. hope you like the videos, <laughs> and I hope you will click the like button and the subscribe button and all the other buttons around our name over there somewhere floating in the space. And thank you so much, and see you in the next one, guys. See you in the next one. I recommend us things to see in yes. in Malaysia. Yes. Yes. See you. Bye bye. See you.